Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here, coming to you from southeast central Kansas. Washroom breaking report. Uh, it is coming out right now that Israel has struck in Tartus, port city, Syria, which is located uh, just off the Mediterranean Sea. It would be, um, I guess you would, southern uh, Syria, uh, just uh, north of the border with Lebanon, okay? So, it's approximately 11.07 uh, uh, p.m. here, Central Standard Time, uh, in my region, so, um, that would make it, I believe, um, just after 6 a.m., uh, Israel time, I believe, uh, the pictures came out, so it was, uh, it's daylight there, um, so I wanted to let y'all know, it's not Damascus, but a port city, Tartus, okay, so, and I wanted to give you a little backdrop, uh, I know, uh, some of you have seen it, um, today was really, um, quite a lovely day until about 4.30, I received a phone call from my daughter, uh, many of you know that she had checked herself into um, what was supposed to be, I still haven't done research on it because there were some things that she told me she was doing at this uh, recovery center, um, but uh, anyway, it was supposed to be up to a year Okay, which I never thought she would make it. In fact, I told my husband, I give it 10 days, if that. Um, well, she just up and left her husband, okay, to go to this place where she was living in a very small room in a top bunk bed with a, shared with another woman, um, they took her phone from her, um, she was calling me from this, uh, facility cell phone, uh, which she was able to call me at any time, um, but I knew something was up with her, many of you are aware that, um, she was diagnosed bipolar 1 at the age of 17. So, been going through this for 24 years. I'm tired. Um, but to pass forward, today would have been her 10th day. I find out after speaking with the director of this facility and her, what they refer to as a house mom, which she was glued to my daughter's hip for these past 10 days, um, she had a full mental breakdown again, and many of you are aware that um, last year, it was May last year that she tried to commit suicide. It's all part of bipolar one. When you refuse to take the medication that you need to keep your uh, chemical balance in your brain um, normal, okay? Um, but last night, and they were fully aware she was having massive mania, okay, the whole 10 days that she was there, 
okay? But they leave it to her, okay, whether she wants to go to a uh, intake uh, hospital, okay? Well, I guess it got so bad last night, Thursday evening, that she hadn't slept the whole time she's been there. That's big red flag right there. And last night, she started yelling and screaming that Jesus is coming and everyone is going to die. And she went throughout the whole uh, corridors, opening up other people's rooms, waking them up, yelling at them. Well, this morning, they, as soon as possible, because she was still totally gone, okay, um... They took her to a uh, mental facility hospital to get her stabilized. And she refused treatment and called her husband to come pick her up immediately. Okay. And... I spoke with her for a little bit, and she was very agitated because she doesn't want to hear truth. Um, she is in complete delusional mindset. She even said that, Look, Mama, I'm an angel, and I can fly. Y'all... I've been going through this for so long, and it's so heart-wrenching as a mother. Um, and I know many of you are not aware because I put it in the chat, but, you know, Michaela, he woke up last week. Yeah, he did. Praise, praise God. Um He's got a long way to go, though. He's not speaking, but he can, uh, on command, he can point to uh, whatever he's asked to point to, okay? Um, and so he's not walking or anything, but he got moved from Honolulu Military Base Hospital to uh, South Carolina uh, Hospital that deals with traumatic brain injuries, you know, for children. So, praise God. Uh, just wanted to throw that in there. But, quite some time ago, and I, I'm quite certain many of you that have been with me for years remember me saying this, that Satan and his legions Okay. He can't get to the bride of Christ. Okay. But he can go after the unsaved. He goes after her. And my daughter is saved. She believes in Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. Okay. But with her brain injury... And her mind is, her brain is constantly racing against itself, okay? Uh, manic, uh, extreme highs, extreme lows. I mean, screaming, crying, and then laughing, laughing, and then screaming, crying. It, this is what she's been going through, okay? And they waited in this facility that was supposed to help her until it got so bad and now trying to get her to go to get stabilized and get the medicine that she needs I, I don't even know how this is going to turn out and I don't even know if 
the Lord wants me to turn my back and just let it be. Because, like I said, 24 years, y'all. She's 42 years old. I can't make her do it. She won't listen to me. She won't listen to her dad. And she surely ain't listening to her husband. And he's clueless pretty much about it all. He's just learning firsthand. They've only been married just uh, not quite a year and a half now. Okay? Um, but I can't afford to just break down. I, I broke down earlier. I cried so hard. It, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Seriously. I weigh 83 pounds now. 83 pounds. And I'm not looking for pity. No. I'm tired. I'm one of the weary bride. Just like y'all are. Our families. Non-believing. You know. Just... They say they believe, but their fruit is so rotten, it stinks to high heaven. But I wanted to get this out to y'all, and it's just, I appreciate, you know, if you just keep me in your prayer, because if I lose it, if this shit goes down, I'm taking them all down with me. <laughs> I've had it up to here, okay? Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get a call in the middle of the night from my son-in-law saying, uh, Mom, uh, I need you. You know, should I go or not? You know? I mean, you know, I just watched part of a video of Brother in Christ, you know, and Jesus, you know, when he was picking out his disciples, you know. Let those who are spiritually dead, let them take care of their own. Let the dead bury their own. You know? I mean, there, there's no reasoning with her. In fact, while I was trying to talk with her on the phone, she, she told me, Oh, you're a trigger to me. I said, let me tell you something. I said, you and me, we've been going through this for 24 years. I said, I'm going to give you a trigger. And then she handed the phone to her husband because she knew that I wasn't going to put up with it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so tired, y'all. It's just, I love you guys. And Jesus loves us. Yeah, he does. I know he does. Guard your heart above all else. Guard your heart. And I think that's my answer right there. Just leave it in the past and keep moving forward. Our toxic family, friends, so-called friends, they're trying to take us back into the past, and that's not where we want to be. We want to go home, and we want to go up when the trump of Almighty God sounds. Amen. Maranatha.